this is going to be a short tutorial on how to burn DVD movies with Nero. We made a DVD files with ConvertX to DVD and then now we're going to burn it with Nero 6 point something. Um, okay, so a new, new compilation window comes up and then we have two choices here. CD or DVD. So we're going to use a DVD and we are going to burn, we want to burn a DVD video. So we go down here to DVD video. And then we just, we can look up here and here's some stuff that is, we don't need to be concerned about. Relax restrictions, make sure all those boxes are unchecked. And then you can put a name up here if you want. I just leave it as new. Um, file dates. Th this part you can just, it's up to you. It's personal preference. I just leave it as it is. And up here we want to cache the files from disk and network. And then we click over here on burn. Okay, now I'm using a, four, a 4X four DVD-RW, so this is going to take longer than what it would norm take most people. Um, there are some up here we have action. What do we want to do? Um, you can determine maximum speed. Um, you don't have to do that. Um, the simulation box is grayed out. Right is checked. And then finalize DVD. No further writing is grayed out, but it's also checked, so this will work. So we just click on new here. And then the, here is what our interface thing looks like. Okay, over on the far left, you see right here. Uh, this is where your your uh, the DVD is going to going to go. Okay, here's what here over here in this section is what needs to be burnt. And over here is a file browser. It's just like regular Windows browser. So we can go. There's a couple ways to do this, but we'll just go over here to the far right, click on C because that's where our stuff's at. Then we go down here to where we put it, which is here. And then this is the file, the folder that we made yesterday. And so what we can do here is select all, and this is how I do it myself. And then go down here to copy the compilation and it'll copy everything over there. So there's the video files files let me just click over here on the new part okay so we got the video files are here the audio folder is always blank but for whatever reason we leave it there okay this my the way the way my layout is is probably a little bit different than what you have but what we can do here is we just go over here to where it says burn and then we just click on this thing. It looks like a match. That's the way I put it. Look at it. Look it looks like a match on a disc. So we're gonna burn a disc. And so then this box comes up again. It says burn cancel or Nero Express. We're not even going to mess with Nero Express. Just click on burn. And then down here at the bottom we have automatically shut down the PC when done. I don't do that but you can if you want. And then I don't have verify written data because sometimes things happen. And then uh, I'll just pause this till done. Okay, we're at 88%, 89, 90. Okay, we're almost done with the burning part. Uh, you look down over here, you see the buffer level, and that's like 97%. It's supposed to be pretty high. If it gets down too low, that means there might be a problem. Uh, then we have to wait for it to verify. After it's done burning. Remember how I told you?
did about verify, uh, verify the written data, make sure we're doing it right. And that shouldn't take too long. Got 98% burning. And then you see the used breed buffer up here at the top, that's going to go down. That's supposed to do that. And then we wait for, it says generating DVD high, compa high compatibility borders, whatever that is. And now we're going to verify it. And verifying, you see the unused read buffer is grayed out. Up here it says verifying the compilation at whatever speed that is. And then we look down here, and this is the important part where it says completed. And I'll show how much of it is completed. And then I'll pause it till we're almost done. Now we're at 98% done verifying. And you see the top line is going down to the left which means we're almost done here and then we've got this box that pops up it says neural burning ROM data verification completed successfully Let's click on OK and down on the bottom right it'll say save log print log and then done just click on done and the DVD comes out and then we're back up to the main screen. Okay, the the way we do this is going to be basically the same for all programs, regardless of what they are. Uh, when we're all done here, you just click on the X in the upper right, close out the program, and there we are. And that's it for this tutorial.